Hello there, Data Recovery Guru here, hope all is well. Today we are working on a couple of SSDs. This is a SETA SSD. It's a Team Group uh, brand SSD. And this one here is uh, a light on NVMe uh, small SSD. Uh, the reason I'm shooting this video is because both of these SSDs, the NVMe and the SETA SSD, have failed and um, the customers this one is from uh, Virginia Beach Virginia this one is uh, local here in Massachusetts uh, the reason the customers send them to us is because they have failed where when they get power on all they do is just stay busy they become unresponsive and the data cannot be accessed so the customer send them to us for data recovery the trick to get them recovered is to have what is known as loader in the um, data recovery world, in the advanced data recovery world, which basically are very advanced type of firmware um, codes that allows us to basically inject in the device's memory, allowing us to get the device ready and accept factory commands. So we had to do both uh, of these uh, loader procedures on the NVMe and on the SATA SSD in order to get them recovered. Typically, those behaviors with the busy state and so on are happening as a result of NAND flash chip degradation, okay? The NAND flash chips are not very good quality and over time they get degraded. And that manifests by this behavior. You see here, when we are cloning, green is good. That means the data is readable. And the other ones where you see those errors, they are not readable, okay? Or at least they have errors. We have to go back and try more advanced methods to see if we can uh, read the data from them. Uh, so that's kind of how it manifests in real life. So the way to do this successfully, as far as the loaders goes, is to have something advanced like PC Thousand Portable Pro. This is not feasible to buy if you are a uh, home user. This is thousands of dollars expensive, you know. So uh, this kind of hardware and software tool comes with a library of loaders uh, where the developer goes ahead and does uh, research and development and gets those loaders working. And then using this tool, we are able to basically short particular spots on the SSD, allowing us to load this firmware code and then allows us to get the SSD in working condition where we can send factory commands and so on. Uh, so that's kind of how it works. And this is how it allows us to recover the data. If you need help with any kind of SSD, SATA, NVMe, Apple, or anything like that, just go to datarecoveryguru.com and click on get started to arrange for a free dino.